welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of Valentine's Day decorating as well as some general winter decorating because I haven't done anything since I took down all of my Christmas decorations. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. There's also gonna be some cleaning motivation in this video too. So if you like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you. And let's go ahead and get started. Alright friends, we're starting today's video in the kitchen and I'm just wiping down the table before I put everything on here that I'm going to be using to decorate today. I just kind of like to lay stuff out before I get started and you're going to see that I'm not using a whole lot of Valentine's Day decor. I really just wanted to decorate a couple of touches in the kitchen and in the bathroom and that's pretty much it. The rest of my house is very winter themed. Um, I took down all the Christmas decor and so... Now I just want to kind of have a clean slate for a little while until it's time to decorate for spring. But I'm going to do my best to let you guys know where everything is from that I'm using here on the tier tray. If I can link it down below, I definitely will. A lot of it was from Hobby Lobby and then a couple of items were from Home Goods, And then most of it actually is from years past and from past holidays. I try to buy pretty generic items that can be used for multiple holidays. So the White Lantern is an Amazon find. I'll definitely be sure to link that. And then I had a couple of the vases and candles, but the two new mugs are from Target this year. I got a new Ray Dunn cup and then a couple of small items on the top are from Hobby Lobby, but all of this I did for less than $20. So I decided to leave a few pieces of greenery in here because like I said, my house is very winter themed with just a few pops of Valentine's Day and I really kind of like the way the pink, red, and green all go together so you guys will have to let me know how you like it in the comments. And let me know also how you guys decorate for Valentine's Day if you do at all. Do you like to just put a couple of things like I do here and there or do you like to go all out? be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i want to mess up your covers i don't want to meet your mother never ever ask me how i've been remember why you have my number i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shine i'll show me what you can do so the red and white straws are a Grove Collaborative find and I know that they were available during the holidays but I will try to link those if I can. And then I had this last minute idea to fill the cup with some peppermints because they're red and white striped and so a lot of this stuff like I said can be transitional between Christmas and Valentine's Day. A lot of red things can be used for both but this is how the tiered tray turned out. I absolutely love how wintry it still looks while also looking super cute for Valentine's Valentine's Day and I will probably end up using the mugs and the cups so they will come down when I use them I'll wash them and then just stick them back up here on the tray I love things to be functional as well as cute I didn't do anything too crazy on the table. I just always keep this cake stand here and make little simple centerpieces. And I use the candle I got from Target. I'll link that if I can. It's a really sweet smelling cake type candle. And then I used a little bit of the leftover bead rope to make a wreath around it. And that's all I did. It was super simple. Make a move the way my hands 
Yeah. So now we're moving on to the living room and this is pretty much the room that has the most winter looking items in it. I didn't do a whole lot of Valentine's Day in here at all just because I like that transition between winter and spring. So this garland is definitely more of a spring garland but when you pair it with some different wintry looking items and textures I think it really does work in this space nicely. So over here on the right side I just did a little pine tree, a little book stack that I have and then some some other little pieces here and there I usually like to light a candle and put it up on the mantle as well and it just looks very wintry and it'll be super easy to continue decorating and adding to it when I'm ready for spring did you ever stop and think why well, spend too much time just getting ready Let me Honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking. You guys are enjoying this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps out my channel so much but it also lets me know that you guys love home decor videos I love making these kinds of videos for you guys so if you're enjoying it don't forget to hit that like button I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around when you don't have to there's so much that I'm still keeping to myself cause you don't listen We're moving on to the bathroom and I didn't go crazy with Valentine's Day in here at all. It's really just the smallest touches that make such a big difference. But the first thing I wanted to do was wipe down the sink area before I put anything out. And you guys know that I love my Mrs. Meyers hand soaps. I have them all over my house. And so I put out the peony scented one and then all I did was add a candle just for a little bit of added color, a new hand towel that's pretty neutral. And then you guys are gonna see in just a second that I got a new cover or holder, I guess you could call it for my, um, tissues and the girl at Hobby Lobby when I bought this it was so funny she told me she had no idea what this was used for until the other day when somebody bought one and then she realized oh it's to cover like a tissue box so I will try to link it if I can I got it with the 40% off coupon I also got a new shower curtain from Target they were having a sale on their bath and bedding so I did get a new shower curtain so the shower curtain that I had up here before this one I have had since college so I definitely think it was time to get a new shower curtain I wanted to wash this Christmas one and then pack it away with all of my Christmas decor and I just love the one that I picked out for here I think white really brightens up the bathroom since it is a smaller bathroom I do think that the white really helped it's really feminine looking and it's just perfect to transition again for spring what it is you do I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out I just want to make you smile hold your hand in my hand looking at the sunset man you're looking good tonight I want to kiss you before the sun goes down it's what you do
So the last thing that I'm gonna do in the bathroom is add a couple of things to the back of the toilet here. Just a tray from the Grove Collaborative, a candle, and then this blue soap is a scented soap. So all I have in the two candles are just plain white unscented votives. And I really like using soap as kind of like a room freshener. It smells so good. But this is how the bathroom turned out. I'm absolutely in love with how feminine and pretty it looks. Very perfect for Valentine's Day. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys! It's what you do